Radical. Now, Tetris is a puzzle game. Very easily seen as the best puzzle game of all time. Even better than Dr. Mario. And a lot of a lot of list will actually have Tetris in the top 10 of video games of all time. When you think about it, it's not all that silly. Sure, there's some great Marios, there's some great Zeldas, there's some other truly great games out there. But if you think about it, what is a pure video game? I would say simplicity. When you think pure video game, Tetris always pops up. Tetris is a simple game where blocks go down. You can twist the blocks and you're trying to make lines. It's beautiful in its simplicity. The original Nest Tetris is still playable even today. Tetris is everywhere. Tetris is on your phone. Tetris is on handhelds after the NES version. I mean, hell, the pack-in game for the Game Boy original was Tetris. Wait, did I come before the NES Tetris? I'm not sure. But one great aspect, like I said, is the fact that people are finding new ways to breathe life into these old retro games. And there's a modification. I'm not sure for purists out there if what they feel about when you're breaking world records on a non-NES version of Tetris. This is a modified version that is being used. Supposedly the same version, but they just fix certain uh, things about it. I'm going to leave, by the way, I can't explain all of this. I was going to give some thoughts on, even though I can't go into great detail and explain everything of what I saw. There's a 40 minute documentary. I'm going to leave a link to when I'm done talking about this from the channel, of game scout. It's titled a 15 year old just broke every Tetris world record. Now you might be getting deja vu because I found this incredibly interesting. And I talked about it last year. Was it when blue scuddy, Young fella broke the world record. But since then, it's been crushed. Crushed. And that was 6 million of a score. Pixel Andy later got 8 million of a score. I should have this in the background here to show you the numbers. Alex Thack. Thack. That ain't pronounced that. Thack. If it's not, my apologies, Alex. Alex, a 15-year-old, just crushed it. Crushed it. 10 million more than Blue Scuddy. It's 16 million. He was all on the way to even get to the last level of Tetris. Supposedly, some people have been to the last level, level 255. But there is a level called the 800 lines level that was on a color scheme, charcoal. Now, one thing about the game is you keep going forward and forward and forward. There's a glitch where some of the pieces start going in different color schemes and weird colors. But there's one color scheme that is brutal. Even though Alex is great at this game, there's one color scheme that is brutal that destroyed him. It is the combination of an 800 lines level, meaning you have to clear 800 lines in one level combined with one color and not white, not yellow, not purple, one color. And that color is very dark green. It destroyed him. It broke him. <laughs> but he has nothing to feel bad about because I, I think... Any of you listening would be broken by a all green 800 line level with blocks coming down very fast. And he had been playing at that point for over an hour. So at some point, we're all human. That's just going to be too much. But he did it. He was aiming for over 10 million. He didn't realize he got over 6 million more than that. So what was impressive, what seemed impressive last year with Blue Scuddy is just, I mean, sorry, Blue. I know you're feeling blue. Sorry, Blue. Your score is outdated. 
just just think about like i said how awesome retro gaming is when you look at it in a respect of what you're able to pull out of these old games did the original creators of tetris think several decades into the future there would be a whole community of people trying to outdo each other whether to get to the last level of Tetris, whether to get past glitches, whether to have the highest score in Tetris. Tetris ain't going anywhere. Tetris, like I said, is one of the greatest games of all time. But it's one of the most simplistic games of all time. Thank <laughs> you.